Yeah, that's very good. I love the sound of that. <laughs> I love the sound of that. All right, welcome. Um, I'm not sure whether to see to, to the to the kickoff of the program because I know some of you we, we've been at it for for some time already. But maybe rather let me say welcome to um, everyone who's joining us for the very first time. And uh, for those that we started the program earlier this year and those that we kicked off late last year, um, welcome once again. And um, I'm sure you are excited to be here as much as I am. So just to uh, then break um, down the structure of today. Um, there's going to be three of us that will be presenting to you or engaging with you rather today. First of all, it's myself and my role. Um, it's, it's quite simple, really. And um, I'm going to be here for, for the shortest period of time out of the three speakers or facilitators today. So I'm just going to talk about some of the general aspects of the program and, and also some of the things that I know if are not well managed, they, they can create maybe more of a frustration rather than the value add uh, that we have anticipated. So I'm um, given up just until half eight, then Fadi will then jump in to really start unpacking uh, what um, a professional uh, or rather a competent professional accountant it's all about. And then before he ends it off, he will also just unpack uh, the face note that you might have seen. And if you have not seen, you'll start getting an idea of the objective of the face notes that we issue, uh, as well as how the entire journey is going to really pan out during the year. And later on, we've got one of our four meetings. Her uh, name is uh, Kisawaka. Uh, she will then be closing the session for us. So the idea then is just to talk um, uh, to yourselves um, in terms of really uh, what this journey um, entailed for her, but more importantly, uh, what are some of the lessons that she took that are worth sharing and she believes will be quite empowering for you. So that is the agenda for the entire day. The idea is for us to be out of here by one o'clock. And it's very important that you are here so that you can understand how then the Saturday, the, sorry, the Tuesday session, the 9th of, the 9th of April session um, is going to, to, to be looking to achieve. Most of that work will be based on what we're gonna be doing today. So I'm very excited that you are here and I'm hoping that you'll get the very best out of it. And from thereafter, uh, the, the videos for this particular class will then be available before the end of today. And again, the idea is for you to say that, yeah, if there's anything you want to recap before Tuesday, you then have an opportunity to do so. So that is what um, today it's all about. Okay, my screen is looking a little bit funny. Let me just see if I can quickly resolve it. So, so, so it's very important that one recognizes that yeah, the, the, the engagements, um, they, they are meant to really add value. And for us, the biggest value that one gets from the life engagements, life content session is the engagements. Because we do recognize that you could have said um, behind the screen, pre-record this and just make it available. But this is a professional program and the idea is to have you engage, you clarify your thought process because necessarily when we develop professional, it's not a matter of this is the only thing, this is the way to do things, but rather it is to thinking and ensure that when you eventually enter the profession, you are an independent thinker, critical thinker, uh, you've got the right business acumen, and at the same time, you are technically incompetent. So 
So it will be very good to then have uh, the engagements as we go. Uh, my PC is setting me down for one reason or the other. Let me see if this one can save me. So let me quickly do this, Tim's. Okay. Yeah, let me, I'm just connecting with my other PC. This one is just frozen on me. Okay, I hope you can see my screen. Um, I had to share with my other screen. This one is giving me problems. Okay, are you able to see my screen? Yes. All right. Yes. Cool. All right, cool. Great. Um, so. Yeah, so this is now the agenda reflected and just to build up on what I've already said. Um, I'm here to just cover point number one. Welcome. And then Fidi will take it uh, further from there uh, to why are we here and what does it mean to um, become a CA, whether you are already a professional uh, accountant, let's say you are doing or you are an ACCA member, you're a CIMA member, or you're still uh, going to, to pursue this to acquire your first professional qualification. That is the big idea with the first aspect. Then the APC, we're going to talk about it to say, what do we mean when we are assessing professional competence? What does that look like? And we're then going to talk about what? The program and how we have benefit you um, before we head to what? Before we head to close the show of the session and Kisaubaka coming in after him. Um, no, no, sorry. And then uh, it's going to be a break time. And yeah, Kisaubaka will only come after the last part after discussing some of the practical applications. So, all right, from my side to kick it off. Um, so, as I was saying, for those that are joining us for the very first time, welcome. And for those that are really joining us for the first time, in other words, you've never interacted with us, whether it's CTA support, ITC, or anything of the sort. Uh, so, we are Endunamu, and we've got three brands that um, we operate in order to deliver our developmental programs. And those programs include our CTA support, which supports the uh, long distance uh, learning candidates, uh, mostly so UNISA candidates. And then we've got our ITC brand, which then offer ITC preparatory courses, both for the gen and for the June sitting. Whereas on the EPC side, this is our SICA, and ICARES accredited program. Uh, so what we do here is that we offer um, programs that lead to one to be able to sit for the final or qualifying uh, professional exam, the APC. And in addition, our idea is not to limit our developmental impact to just see you succeed in the APC, but it is really to help you to become that competent professional accountant, to be able to think critically and live all the values and arguments that we're gonna be unpacking in this particular program. And that's why the program is structured very differently from our other programs in such a way that it is not your typical lecture approach 
that you will have as part of our developmental activities. But we have other aspects like mentorship, uh, like a uh, business acumen, and um, uh, coaching support that we have embedded in the program because we are realizing that it's not just about this is how the APC works, this is how you, 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 you achieve competence in the assessment, but we want you to come out of this program and be a confident, competent professional accountant. So that is really the bigger picture with the, develop with the uh, developmental approach of our program. And as then Fede comes in to really just unpack on how do we view a competent professional and therefore how do we go about developing those set of values, arguments and competencies that will not only define you as a chartered accountant, but will define you as an EPC um, partnered uh, professional competent accountant. So that is really our vision and that is really the idea of this program. And we hope uh, that you, you enjoy it and you embrace the kind of what, the kind of thinking and the structure that we will be putting before you. But as I was saying before, it's really a developmental journey and we consider it to be both ways. We want to understand where your needs are and we want to make sure everything that we have here are, um, um, are really structured to add value to you. And for most of you that have been with us for a number of programs, you'll come to realize that we, we, we are really very personalized in our approach. It's not a matter of this is then the kind of set program that we put before you, and it has to be that. But it's a very partnership driven kind of program uh, where now we are also always mindful, listening, and just making sure that everything that we have planned and we put before you, it's relevant and most importantly, it's value adding. So that is our approach and these are the three brands that we use in order to ensure that we reach those uh, developmental approach. With regards to then the key people that drive that particular thinking, these are they. But in addition to these um, individuals right here, there are many other significant contributors in the program uh, that we've got. They come in different ways, whether they are leading our script review process, whether they are leading our marking process, whether they are leading business acumen uh, sessions, uh, whether it be mentorship session, we've got a team of professional accountants that have raised their hand to say that we want to be part of the candidate's developmental gene. So essentially what you can just consider us to be could be just the uh, facing kind of professionals, but there is a whole um, a bigger team that is invested into seeing you develop and succeed as a professional accountant. In terms of uh, the, the key people, those will be the two on top. Uh, on one side, we've got Fadi, who is your academic head. In his role, he is fully responsible and accountable for the quality in the program, meaning that every technical aspect that the program puts before you, he is the one that says that, yes, this is what the candidates will most develop from. Then our MD on the other side is just to ensure that everything that we've put out there in terms of what the program is all about, in terms of what the, our administration is all about, in terms of ensuring we've got the right resources to deliver on the academic heads plans as well as other strategic plans, um, she is essentially accountable and responsible for that. Then below that, these are then the program heads, including myself. Um, but myself, I'm more of, um, I don't know how you say it in English. What is it? In Chivenda, we call myself Dambera, the one who just plays in different teams. Uh, so as you can see, um, I'm in the accounting team, I'm in the math team, as well as strategy and risk management. Um, in terms of the people that I work closely with, um, I work closely with Ms. Uh, with Dr. Pullen, who is our head of MEF um, strategy and risk management. 
Uh, so he is from a APC perspective very much involved in development of critical thinking. So the kind of approach uh, that it takes in management accounting, you'll see it's very unique because it is really focusing on the underlying kind of skills that you need in order to be a professional accountant. Then we've got our head of IFRIS, Asen. Uh, Asen, very passionate about accounting, and you'll get to see that here. Yeah, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? When it comes to, to IFRIS, yeah, that, that's, uh, he knows it inside out. He, if you've never opened um, one of those basis of conclusion uh, section, he, he is a working uh, copy of that. He understands the kind of thinking that the standard setters go through in order to really put a paragraph out there. So you are going to enjoy the kind of engagements you're going to have with him. And on some other, um, on, on the other side of it, he also contributes to our text. Um, very passionate also about tax, and I think it's just the, the complication that comes from him, comes with it from a practical perspective that keeps him glued to it despite his love for accounting. So we've worked together uh, in terms of just also looking at uh, Akai tax beyond just the South African legislation, looking at Namibian legislation as well as uh, Zim legislation. So He's not our tax expert. Our tax expert is actually uh, Madodonke. Uh, Madodonke is head of um, um, tax at uh, PPC, uh, the listed cement uh, manufacturer and distributor. And uh, um, in terms of the kind of tax he looks at, he focuses mainly on company tax, which is the, the relevant tax for a program such as this. Um, and the way he unpacks it as well, the kind of task that is going to uh, challenge you with, you'll then just see uh, the, the, the practicality of um, theory coming together and you being able to, to, to really sit in, ro in a room with professionals or even discussing, say, a, a finance issue and being able to bring tax, issued, the tax issues into the mix. Then from an auditing perspective, uh, Fedi plays a dual role then. So in addition from uh, being our academic head, he also leads our, our, our auditing governance um, as well as uh, ethics uh, department. And this is mostly so because um, he's been a partner at one of the uh, big four companies for several years now. Um, he's, uh, uh, he's, he, he looks after uh, one of the, let's say, interesting uh, divisions out there is financial services, the banks. Uh, so uh, as you can imagine, banks are known for rigorous uh, financial controls, um, internal controls, and just complexity of instrument. And one of the most important thing about that is just how to unpack and engage with, um, and I'm sure if you know banking, people that think and probably are very smart out there. So, so he's able to break down some of the most complex of principles and bring them down to what? Uh, bring them down to, to really a level of an entry level chartered accountant so that you can not only enjoy it, but you can really embrace it and use it beyond the program. So this is then the team that you will be dealing with throughout the program. And as I'm saying, they are supported by very, very strong um, chartered accountants behind them. And I'll really want you to, to embrace the diversity in the team and make sure you take um, uh, the very best out of them. And in terms of then the rest of the other team members I'm talking about, you'll get to engage with them either through um, what we call reflection sessions, consultation sessions, and also ourselves, we are part of those consultation sessions. And these are just some of the aspects uh, that are what that are very personalized about our program. But unfortunately, I know the question usually comes later on. Uh, unfortunately, none of these um, individuals um, are in the mentorship program uh, just for independence perspective. Uh, I know in the past people have wanted uh, one of these uh, individuals to be your mentor. 
uh, but it always looks uh, what do you call it not so uh, a little bit uh, at an advantage if you get one of those so we, we decided that here yeah, from a mentorship perspective will not be available but when it comes to consultation we will be with you throughout the year okay then um, in addition to to the technical team we've got a very passionate and a supportive caretaking team so for for some of you that have been in the program already now uh, you would have already dealt with one of these key individuals so in terms of um, the, 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 the most uh, contact that you will have with um, the people here, it will be non -changa. So she is essentially our um, APC candidate caretaker. So every query uh, relating to the administration of the program, uh, relating to your well-being, relating to our caretaking efforts, they go through here. Then we've got um, our online controller, so online controller, he is the one that works in the background in order to just support our online activities. Uh, online is such a significant part for us uh, because of um, the fact that most of the program is delivered uh, on an online only basis. Uh, so when it comes to uh, just ensuring that these initiatives are well supported and non is well supported to support you, he is then the person that you then contain, you, you then deal with. But most of the content, he has someone that uh, you deal with and they work together in order to just deliver results to you. Then we've got Zelia Banda, who is our APC team leader. So she works together with the caretakers as well as the management team and the professional team. So she is the in-between just to make sure that everything is well coordinated. And in terms of her biggest focus is just to drive the wellness um, initiatives within the programs. This is our caretaking engagements and uh, coaching support and um, as well as a mentorship program. So all those things, she is the one that really looks after them and ensure that they achieve the objectives that we've set out for you. So these two slides cover the key people that you will then be what? You will then be dealing with. And now the question always comes, how do you deal with them? So we've got a number of channels or rather platforms uh, which we use in order to communicate with you. And the idea is to just have some permanence in the communication, uh, which means that if, say, you miss a communication, it should be easy for it to be accessible to you and be able to catch up at any point. Because sometimes we, we do understand that a program like this is not catered for, say, full-time candidates, but it's catered for working individuals some of you are already seniors and you are very busy. You are juggling um, not only your work commitments, but it could also be personal commitments, family, children, schools, and so on. So we try to then make sure that we have a structured communication platforms or channels so that if for whatever reason, maybe things are just so demanding and you are out say from a program for two weeks or so if you really want to catch up understand what has happened when you are gone where you need to catch up and so on this right here the channels are designed to really make that journey easier for you so first of all we've got the welcome notes every registered candidate that comes into a program gets or receives a welcome note so the welcome note is personalized with your Endunam ID. So that is the what that is the, the the single number that you're gonna need in order to access your platform. And and I'm gonna talk about when I say platform, what does it mean? So you're gonna need that number. Whether we are talking about submissions, 
whether we are talking about your admission letters for the assessments later on, whether we are talking about mentorship, whether we are talking about Tutuka, every engagement in the program will require that Endronamo student number. So another thing about it is it's private. So keep that number private. It is linked to your personal information. So it comes to your email that you provided and it is meant to be secured from that point on. So please do not share that with anyone. If you are taking screenshots in the group, make sure you don't share that number with anyone. So that's number one. Then in addition, that welcome letter clarifies the structure of the program. Because as I was saying, there are those that we started this journey late last year, some early this year, and you are now coming in now. And sometimes it's easy, uh, say for a professional, a mentor or another candidate to be referring to other aspects that you might know where they are or at what point they were provided. So we then clarified the structure of the program and you will then see that the program is defined to have four phases. You are essentially joining now on phase number two, which we call the development phase. Then we're going to go together to phase number three, the demonstration phase, and then we're going to have the assessment phase. And you might be wondering that, wait, if I'm starting at two and not one, is that a problem? Not at all. So the idea is that the foundation phase was designed in order to just provide a stronger uh, foundation for those that wanted to start the program earlier and address some of the concerns that they've had. But in terms of what we expect we'll be evaluating, it starts at this particular point. And uh, if at any point you are wondering that you maybe I do fall. And... Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, was so? Yeah, your mic is open. Sure. Thank you. So as I was saying that um, if at any point you're saying that, wait, did I miss out on something? I believe I'm one of those that probably needed the foundation phase. So before you make any decision about that, it's always worth contacting our KTA cast or any one of us to just say, yeah, this is where I am. This is what I believe I need. These are my issues. Do you think I need that or not? So that is the kind of what uh, the kind of um, um, thinking with the foundation phase. But going forward, we really believe that the development, demonstration, and assessment are the core aspects of our program. Then in addition, the welcome note will talk to the WhatsApp platform. WhatsApp is a voluntary platform for us. So if for whatever reason you don't like WhatsApp, if you don't join it, you're not going to miss out on any significant aspect of the program uh, because all the other significant aspects are dealt with in a way that they are communicated to everyone. So that is the WhatsApp. And if you decide to join the WhatsApp, in addition to joining the WhatsApp, there are groups that you can decide to join. We have now structured it in terms of the candidate profiles, as well as some of the significant activities. So candidate profile, I'm saying that there's a group designated for CMAT uh, members, uh, there's a group designated for those that will be sitting for the APC for the very first time. There's a group that is designated for those that have set for APC before and group designated for those that have what? That have uh, or that just want the assessment phase of the program. So depending on your needs and also just um, the kind of what uh, the kind of engagement you want to have, you are more than welcome, regardless of what you've registered, to join any group that you want. Then, most importantly, the welcome note talks about something that we introduced this year called my personal folder. So with my personal folder, we then use that ID that we've given you in order to create a OneDrive account. And with that OneDrive account, we then store everything that is personalized to you. So everything that is in my personal folder will bear only your name. So it won't be general announcement. 
it will be things that are dedicated and specifically attributed to you. So it will be your welcome letter. If at any point you need a registration a confirmation, it's loaded there. When we do the assessment, your, 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 your admissions letter will be stored in there. Um, when we when you complete the Know Me Better form, it will be there. When you complete the mentorship profile, if you want to be part of the mentorship, that will be there. When we pair you with a mentor, the profile of your mentor will also be loaded there. And you will also have your submissions that you make loaded there. So everything in those folders, it's yours. So before I finish, I'm going to just show you how that looks like. And over time, you might say uh, at this point, you might see that it's only got one, two, three folders. But as you engage and as we engage with you, the number of folders will start picking up. But everything in them is dedicated and specifically attributed to you. Then we've got the face note and the monthly notes. So the face note, think about it as the technical note. So that comes directly from our what? Our academic head, Fadi. So this is where he communicates the vision for each of the phases that I've spoken about. So that means the, the, the vision for um, the, 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 the development phase, we've already outlined it, uh, as well as the objective for you as a candidate. So you will then see that it gives you guidance on what you need to uh, do before a class, what you need to be preparing for to do within a class, and what you should be doing after a class or a set of activities. Uh, during the open days, we mentioned that there are regular tasks that we will want you to be engaged with. Those are also unpegged in the face note. So the face note is simply a way of saying, where am I at any particular point in time? Why are these guys doing this? What is it that they want me to take away from this? So the face note will really clarify those um, expectations for you. And in addition, they will clarify which CTA videos we believe are crucial for your success. Then the monthly notes are now the responsibility of our MD. So the MD now translates the face notes deliverables into what? Uh, into weekly activities, bringing the face note objective as well as the program administration together and to help you to navigate the program. Because as I was saying, as a waking individual, you might be coming in and saying that, should I be worried about this week if I am really hectic? Can I do something? Then the weekly uh, activities will then say, this week we are covering two contact session. You need to do one, two, three. Afterwards, this is what you need to do. Where do you get that? So it really gives you the path to your success. And it's always linked with the face note to ensure that what? To ensure that you are connected to the vision and objectives of each phase. So if you are saying that I hear that there is a document release, where do I find it? So the monthly note will give you that particular guidance. Then we've got also that my personal folder I was telling about that is also outlined in your welcome note. So these are the what are the primary communication, <clears throat> excuse me, communication platforms that we have and we use to engage with you. But one, my personal folder, I've clarified where you get it and you get it in your welcome note. So the welcome note has a unique link. So that link, when it's sent to you, it's sent to you, yes, on your private email. But with where the world is, um, with people just interested in other people's business, um, the hackers, uh, we, we always believe that there's an opportunity to enhance the security of our engagement with you. And because that folder contains your personal information, um, we, we will want to then enhance the what the security thereof by saying that one, once you have received that link, 
we suggest that you go and create a free OneDrive account. So with that OneDrive account, you will know for those that have it, it's a cloud storage platform. And you will then need to do it, register a free account. So the free account comes with five gig. It's going to be enough for our needs. Then you can request your email to your OneDrive to be linked to your personal folder. What it means, it means that you have now enhanced the security of your folder. Because at this point, the security, it's you keeping that link private. But once it's linked to your OneDrive account, what it means, it means that no one can open it without having gone through your account first. So that means essentially, even yourself, when you want to open that link, you will need to first log into your OneDrive and then that link will open up. So we encourage everyone, if you are saying that, yes, because my personal information is there, I'll want this additional layer of security to then go to the query form. You will see an online query and the one that talks about securing what? Your OneDrive. All you just need to do, don't provide your login details. All you need to do is just provide your email. Then the team will link your personal OneDrive, my personal, your, my personal one folder with your OneDrive account. And you will then see when you log in every time, when you log into your OneDrive account, you will then be able to do what? You will then be able to see that folder. So anything that you want, any submission that you've made, you don't need to wait for an email. You don't need to wait for a confirmation. They will always be there linked to your account. So that is something that we, we will encourage everyone to do. And in terms of then the other documents, the other documents are then easily accessible on your portal. On your portal, when you engage from a technical perspective, you'll then go to my courses. Then there will be the respective courses, CTA courses and APC courses. The APC, if you go to any of them and you then open, say, APC development phase, you then open it and there will be a download folder. So that download folder has got all the general information. General information, that's where it is. You will not find anything personalized to your name there. So that will be the face notes, the monthly notes. And uh, that will be um, the, um, uh, the announcement, the, the policies around our assessments, the policies around our mentorship, the policies around the script review processes, the EPC eligibility criteria, all the general information are found there. But you might be saying that, sure, Rindani, you've been saying quite a lot of things. Um, how do I find my way around after this particular session? So when you go back to the portal, there is a tab that says welcome. So everything that I've spoken about here, it's all there, everything. So as you can see, just from a snapshot perspective, number four talks about my personal folder. Everything I've spoken about there, it's what it's linked, it's captured there. I've spoken about the communication channels, exactly there. I've spoken about a TM, uh, the OneDrive uh, account, it's there. I've spoken about the caretaking team, it's there. So everything that relates to our admin, we have summarized it for you so that you can quickly and easily access it from the welcome page. So if you feel that you are a little bit lost, just go here. If we have not captured anything and you ask it, Nontaja will feed it back to Zelia and will make sure we update this welcome page so that it becomes and continually is relevant. In addition, point number 12 talks about a questionnaire of frequently asked question. That is a more comprehensive set of questions that you can refer to. Maybe you are saying that I had Rinani talk about, oh, Fedi talk about PRI. What is a PRI? I had uh, them talking about venue-based assessment. How do they work? I had them talking about script review. How does that work? So our FAQ is very, very comprehensive. So those are some of the things that 
I just wanted to make sure you've got before we kick off the program. I don't know if there's anything that you want to just ask. I see that the team has been busy um, handling what? Handling uh, your questions. So that's, yeah, that's very good. I uh, thank you. Um, and also, if you don't have any of the things I've mentioned, especially the welcome note and you've registered, so that means the error is on our side and we'll want to make sure we fix that quite um, urgently for you. It's just now it's a little bit too late, but the idea is always, uh, we've seen in some cases, some that use instead of their personal details when they register, using the details of the employer and it then confuses things a bit. But um, if you are there, we are resolving that um, and you just need to let us know uh, and because at this point you will not be able to access our query tools, you can just drop an email to, um, what is it? non just email. Let me just go back. Yeah, APC Care. So you can drop an email to APC Care and then the team will resolve anything that they are not able to resolve at this point, club point in time. All right, that is me. Um, any any questions at this point? I'm excited to have you and I'm excited to. And looking forward to engaging with you. Okay. All good, thank you so much, uh, Fedi. I'll hand over to you.